Hey everybody, Vibrant Health Researcher Jeff Yenser here. And today I wanted to talk to you about super raw foods. I actually borrowed that term from Sally Fallon. I watched a video of hers. She was talking about fermented foods and the abundance of live probiotics and enzymes that were in fermented foods. And you can see I've got sauerkraut, I've got a homemade pickled beet, and some actual pickles that are organic and uh and you have to check, not all pickles contain live cultures, um, but you see you have to check with a, your particular uh, brand of pickles and make sure it has live cultures. And then it's really a probiotic food, and these are rich in probiotics and enzymes. And they were interviewing her about uh, raw and cooked foods, which is better, and she said, you know, a blend of raw and cooked is really ideal. And even if you cook some of your vegetables, you can make up for it. Uh, the, these super raw foods, the fermented vegetables, actually make up for the lack of enzymes if you uh, cook your vegetables because there's an abundance of enzymes and probiotics in these super raw foods as she referred to it. So today for dinner I've got my little uh, trio of super raw foods. I do have some uh, raw leafy greens with some turmeric and sea salt on there I'm going to pour some olive oil and also got some apple cider vinegar uh, with the mother on there and over here in my bone broth pot I've got some cooked foods and you can see I've got some leafy greens in here as well that I've cooked up I love leafy greens they're awesome and some other vegetables uh, carrots cauliflower broccoli in there and also some chicken that's been cooking in there for a while so I'm going to add this on top of my salad. I, you know, I'll strain it and put it on top of my salad, and that's going to be dinner for tonight. So raw and cooked foods with super raw. All right, so there it is. Dinner is ready to enjoy. Yum. Thanks for watching. Jeff Yenser, PaleoEnergyFood.com.